see. These are a few of the things that we are thankful for. Family, food, and friends. Over to Henry with some worship. Bye. <laughs> Some are big and tall. Some of us are big and tall. Some of us are very small. Some of us like pink and some like blue. Some of us have curly hair and some of us have specs to wear. But that's because we're different, me and you. Everyone. Welcome back to Kids Church. Thank you so much to Evie and Joel for that lovely welcome. Let's go and see what some of you have been up to this week. Last week, we heard the story of Mary and Martha, didn't we? And we did all the baking in the kitchen. Well, this week, we are going to um, hear a story all about their brother. And his name was Lazarus. And he was a really good friend of Jesus. 
So this week's story is called Goodbye to Goodbyes. In the little town of Bethany, there lived a man named Lazarus. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha loved to throw a party. Mary loved to sit and listen. Lazarus loved his two sisters. And they were all friends with a man named Jesus. But one day, Lazarus got sick. He went to bed sick and he woke up sick. Martha and Mary looked after him, but Lazarus got worse and worse. I know, said Martha. I will tell our friend Jesus. He can help. Martha thought about all Jesus had done. He made the blind people see. He made the deaf people hear. He made people who had been sick walk, jump, run and leap for joy. He could make Lazarus well. So she and Mary sent a message to Jesus. Lord Jesus, our brother Lazarus, the friend that you love, is sick. Come quickly. It took two days for Martha's message to reach Jesus. And when Jesus heard his friend was very, very sick, he did nothing. Did nothing? That's right. He didn't ride the first donkey to Bethany. He didn't run until his side hurt. For two whole days, he stayed right where he was. Why? Jesus told his disciples, Our friend Lazarus is very sick, but this illness won't end with Lazarus being dead. We won't have to say goodbye forever. I have a plan. Phew! Jesus had a plan, but what was it? Then, at last, Jesus and his disciples headed to Bethany. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, Jesus announced, but I'm on my way to wake him up. The disciples looked at each other. Did they hear him right? Lazarus was sleeping. Couldn't Mary and Martha wake him up? Jesus knew their questions. He looked at them and said, Lazarus has died. Dead? How could this be? Didn't Jesus say that Lazarus would not die? Didn't he say that he wouldn't have to say goodbye forever? What happened to his plan? Every step to Bethany felt heavier and heavier. Their hearts sank deeper and deeper. They were sad their friend had died. They didn't even get to say goodbye. Four days after Lazarus had died, Jesus and his disciples finally arrived. Martha came running to meet them. Her face was sad. Her eyes were red. Lord, she gasped. If only you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. But I know nothing is impossible with you, even after someone's died and we've said our forever goodbyes. You're right, Martha, Jesus said. There is a day coming when we will say goodbye to saying goodbyes forever. Do you believe that? Martha nodded. Yes, I believe in you, Jesus. I know you are the son of God and I know you always do what you promise. You will end all our goodbyes forever. Martha went and fetched Mary. Mary was so sad. The brother she loved was gone. She would never hug him again. She would never eat with him again. She would never see his face again. Jesus saw her tears. And then it happened. His heart broke. He knew what he was about to do. He knew Lazarus's goodbye wasn't forever, but his heart broke for his friends. When they reached Lazarus's tomb, Jesus cried too. They cried and cried and cried. 
because they'd had to say a forever goodbye. But then Jesus stopped crying and said, Take away the stone. Martha told him there might be a horrible smell. Jesus said, You need to believe me. So they took away the stone. Then he yelled like a lion's mighty roar. Lazarus, come out! And he did. There he is. Jesus kept his word. Lazarus being sick didn't end with him being dead. It ended with him alive even after he died. After they'd had to say goodbye. Mary, Martha, Lazarus and Jesus were together again. Martha threw a party. Mary laughed and listened. Lazarus was glad to be alive. But then the time came for Jesus to say goodbye. He hugged the friends that he loved and said goodbye for now, but not forever. Jesus had to go to Jerusalem where he would be the one to say goodbye and die. And then, like Lazarus, walk out of the tomb alive. And after that, Jesus said goodbye again because he was going back to heaven. It was sad for Jesus' friends to say goodbye, but they would see him again in the land that lay after their dying, in the land where there are no more goodbyes, not ever. We all have to say goodbye sometimes. Some of them are short goodbyes, some of them are long. Sometimes a friend of Jesus who we love gets sick and we're sad. Sometimes because they die, we have to say goodbye. It feels like a forever goodbye. Jesus knows it is sad to say goodbye. So Jesus came to end goodbyes. And one day, Jesus and all his friends will say goodbye to goodbyes forever. So you know what's coming up next, don't you? It's the bit that we all enjoy, this week's joke. Let's go and hear it. Yeah. Why would the snowman no good playing in the Big Mac? I don't know. He got cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this joke. Why did the girl throw the butter to see the butter fly? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? The cow pooed on. The cow pooed on who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay everyone, so this week we've done the story of Lazarus, haven't we? And he was Jesus's friend. So for our craft this week, I've got my two helpers and we are going to make friendship bracelets. And what I thought you could do is make a bracelet and you could give it to one of your friends. So what you need is some wool. Now we've got lots of different colors and we've chosen, you need three pieces and they all need to be different colours, so you can choose whatever you've got at home. Uh, I've chosen some green, some white and some red, and Isaac's gone well, I've got pink. You've got pink, Grace's favourite colour. You've got red, red yellow. blue, yellow. Lovely, lovely. I've got okay. yellow. And you need to cut them so they are about 45 centimetres long, so that's about one whole ruler and a half, okay? And when you've got them, you need to tie them in a knot at one end. Mine don't. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that. Mummy, I won't do okay, that. So you tie them all in a knot. And once you've done that, what you need to do is stick it down to something. So I'm just going to stick it straight to our table. Okay, but you could stick it on a piece of card or piece of paper. And that's just to hold it in place while you do the twisting. So once it's stuck down, then you get the end and you're going to twist it round and round and round and round. And you have to keep going for ages and ages, okay? Okay, so once you've twisted and twisted and twisted, what you can do is put some beads on. If you haven't got any, that's fine because you can do it without, but we're gonna put some beads on now and we'll show you what that looks like in a second. So now that you've got your beads on and it needs to be twisted really, really tight, 
what you do is you fold it in half. So you take the other half up here and then it's going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all together. It's all going to get... You might want to straighten it out a little bit. Oh, it's hot. Ready? Okay, and then what you need to do is get your two ends and tie them in a knot. And then what you can do is at one end, you find the little hole. And then, Isaac, give me your hand. Ready? And then you can put the knot through the little hole. And there's your bracelet, all done and ready to go. Shall I do yours for you? Right. So these are our completed bracelets and then you can choose whoever you would like to give it to. Who are you gonna give yours to, Isaac? Esther. Esther, lucky girl, something coming your way. Grace, who are you going to give yours to? Olivia. Olivia. Oh, Olivia might be watching. Be excited. Right, we'll see. If you make one at home, guys, we would love to see them, so send us your photos. Okay, shall we end with a prayer now? You can close your eyes if you like. Father God, thank you for our friends. Help us, Lord to be good friends with others. Uh, help us to listen to our friends and to help them, Lord. And especially, Lord, if they don't know you, help us to tell our friends all about you, Lord. Help us to explain how wonderful and loving you are. Amen. Right, let's go back to Henry for some more worship. God, we just say we love you this morning. We thank you for fun. We thank you for family. We thank you for your friendship. Thank you that you call us friend. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call? And is it true that you are thinking of me, God, how you love me. It's amazing, but I am a friend of God, oh, oh, oh. I am a friend of God, oh, oh, oh. and I am a friend of God, he calls me friend. Oh. 